Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Aditya and in this video we are going to create a web application on .NET 8.0 and then build and deploy on public facing domain using Azure. We are going to build the file as docker image and that is about it. Let's have a look at the output of what done looks like to us. So we will create a random web application for our case it will be my profile and it will be on a public facing domain just like this. So let's get started. First of all we are going to open Visual Studio 2022 and then we are going to proceed with create a new project and select web application with razor pages. So I have it right here. So I don't need to search but you might want to search it. Then next project name we will call it my profile. Now on this page, let's make sure that we are using container OS as Linux and the container build type as Docker file. So I have created my project and uh, let's take a moment to ensure that we are on the same page. Uh, what, right now what I'm doing is I am launching Docker desktop application on my computer. Now you might not have it installed. So if you want to do that, simply go to Google and search download Docker desktop. Open the first website and download it for your operating system. And once you have done that, launch Docker Desktop because we will be needing it when we are building and running the web application on .NET. As we have declared the Docker file as the container target type. Now, if you are opening it for the first time, like me, uh, it will ask you a couple of login questions. Feel free to skip from the top right and we can skip this as well. And then we have Docker engine running. Once we have that, just minimize it and let's transition back to our Visual Studio. Now we have all the boilerplate codes and we are ready to just build the solution. So if you want to know more about how the files are organized in this solution and what Razor pages are, I already have a video of it and the link will be in the description. Feel free to check it out, but that's not the scope of this video. We'll just Build a build the application here. Uh, make a couple of tweaks and then focus on Azure DevOps pipelines and Azure Repo and then Azure resources to actually deploy it on a public domain. So I'll make a code change on index.cshtml, which is the um, base page on which we land when we run the solution or hit the API homepage. And uh, here instead of displaying the default .NET core related information. Uh, we want to show my profile page where basically I'm talking about my profile and sharing some of my skill sets. So let's do that. So this is going to be my page very uh, not very nice, which is again not the scope of uh, what we are doing here. But uh, ha, let's add a profile picture to it. So I'm going to just make sure that the source is working uh, for the image we are loading and let's hot reload and see what's happening. Okay, so a uh, little bit better than what we have before. Uh, not focusing on how to improve this page and make it look nice. Let's just focus on deployment. Okay, so now let's open portal.azure.com and sign in with our account. By the way, how to uh, use a free subscription account. There's a video on my channel and link will be in the description. So also let's open dev.azure.com. So I have a credit of around 11K remaining this month. And in DevOps, we have a project my profile already created. In case you do not have it created, which is for you. So just click on the top right new project and create a new project. This project, my profile is indeed a very new project. It's just I created, created while I was not screen recording it. So uh, it's a new project with no files in it. So if we go under repos and files, we will have, we will, we can just clearly see the instructions for pushing our repo from the local to this project. 
Now, a couple of things. It's not going to be very straightforward. You need to create your own pad token and use that to push it because it's not going to accept any push from any unauthenticated uh, local or origin. So uh, just just a heads up, uh, you can create your pad token on the button that's just next left to the profile picture on the screen. And if you click on that, there will be a or it will be an option to create a pad token, give it full access and then use that token to push from your terminal. If there is a confusion on how to do that, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to respond on exactly how it's done with the command. But once you have done that, uh, we have our repo set up on this project and it should look something like this. And so once we have our files on this project, um, well pushed, we will automatically start seeing a button on the top right which says setup build which is basically going to help us set up the build pipeline so let's go ahead and click on that uh, so now a little bit of gyan on docker and containers uh, so the intention is that we really understand what's happening but feel free to skip this it will uh, i think i'm going to uh, give a mono talk for <laughs> two to three minutes on this but uh, what's a container exactly right so a container is like all the required components to make a piece of software run is packaged and that's called a container and containers are different than VMs since they don't have a full operating system. Containers remove the overhead of a VMs or of VMs and they will always run the same regardless of how or where they are developed. So that's what a container is. Now. After that, we also have container engines and then comes Docker. Docker is a container engine, which is in uh, leading in the industry. And we can build the Docker file that we have in our project to generate image. And then we can run the image with Docker application. So that's what we are doing. And then we can hit the IP of the image running and see our application. So that is what we are doing. We are running the Docker file to generate an image and then we are running the image with Docker application and then we are hitting the IP which is running on the image and we are seeing our application. So now we know what container is, what container engines are. Now we are going to opt with the second option on the screen which is build and register on Azure container registry. And that is why I've been talking or giving a talk or giving a lecture on what's what, because now I want to give another lecture on uh, another mono talk on what are registries. So it com makes the complete sense of what we are doing. Uh, registries are like used to track and manage container images. They are a great way to store your images for easy and secure deployment. Now these registries can be public or private and uh, uh, Docker Hub is like the largest public container registry and again it can be it's mostly public and uh, or I need to check I think it's completely public not sure uh, don't take me for my on my word look it up yourself as well uh, but then we need more security so uh, we use private registries and there comes Azure container registry and that is what we are going to opt for to uh, track and manage the container images. <laughs> so I hope that makes sense. Let's proceed. So now here I need to connect with my Visual Studio subscription. And for that, I need to log in. So I just wanted to show you before we actually create container registry, the empty dropdown. And that is completely fine as our subscription currently does not have any container registry. So let's head back to our subscription on portal Azure portal and create a container registry. So over here, I'm going to go to create a resource and search container registry. I'm going to select the first one that's from Microsoft. Click on create and resource groups. Uh, nope. Uh, let's create a new resource group. Uh, uh, let's call it my profile hyphen RG. Now the registry name needs to be unique all over the world. So let's call it my profile Aditosh. I'm pretty sure Aditosh is unique. 
and uh, it is so let's head with the defaults uh, not sure let's keep it standard uh, networking nothing that I want to change here encryption looks good I don't care right now tags uh, I'm just going to add a custom tag so in case I'm not sure how to use this so in future if I'm clueless I can just look for a tag Azure AZ container and value as my profile next is review and create let's head there now it's going to perform a basic validation on the resource we are trying to create that's a success so let's go ahead and create our resource and I can skip that part for you so now our subscription does has a container registry let's see if Azure DevOps is able to pick that I'm just gonna close this and reopen it and yes my profile Aditosh let's select this and wait for the XML file to sorry YAML file to uh, show up so that's a good thing earlier we used to have uh, write our YAML files ourselves or even bad we had to use classic pipelines which were not YAML friendly but this is much better so we do have a YAML file uh, feel free to make changes as per your specific needs but I'm just going to stick with this template. It will work. Uh, fingers crossed. I'll just save and run on this. So uh, save and run. And now this is going to take some time to do the build operation and uh, register on the Azure Container Registry. In the meantime, let's head to our portal and create the web application resource and try to hook it, hook it up with this uh, image that we are saving on the Azure Container Registry. So in the home, let's again go on create a resource and web app. Again, I'm going to pick the one from Microsoft. That's the first one and create a resource group as my profile RG. Now after resource group, for instance details name, I'm going to go ahead with Aditya followed by the random thing that I have no control over. Next is publish, I'm going to select container and once we do that, we also have to select the OS. Uh, so let's do that. OS, we are going to stick with Linux and for region, let's select one of nearby region. I'm going to stick with Australia East and uh, just to verify that the name will now have Australia East instead of Central, whatever it had earlier. Uh, now for price plan, I'm going to stick with basic instead of premium. I don't want to expend much on this app as I'm not expecting a lot of traffic or anything. It's just a test. So next is to select a container and we have... The option here to select Azure Container Registry, and once we do that, it's going. To, it's automatically picking my my profile Aditosh, but then we are also seeing this error where it's saying that there is some access or permission issue. So let's fix that. So let's duplicate the tab. Go to Home and open Container Registry Resource. In the settings, let's go to access keys and check the admin users box and this should resolve the error we were, we were seeing earlier so it's done let's head back to uh, our error and see if it gets fixed so apparently in order for the fix to show up we have to close the create web app and reopen it and that's what I have done and once we do that uh, it no longer shows the error and it's able to pick the image uh, networking is next no changes here 
monitoring is next again I'm not going to change anything uh, I'll just go ahead with next and I'll skip tags and validation is successful uh, it's going to cost us 1000 per month so that's well and good let's create this resource and uh, of course I'm going to skip this part for you so now I'm going to go to the resource and this is our web application the status is currently loading up but eventually it will show up as running so let's skip to that and also heads up our pipeline on Azure DevOps it has successfully been completed meaning that our repo has been built and the image has been registered on our container which is in our subscription so we are ready to use that and also our web app is in running state so let's uh, browse the web app and see if it's working and now since we are doing it for the first time uh, it will take some time I'm not sure how much but I'm pretty sure it will take some time uh, but with that we are done uh, once it's done we will also be able to see the output um, and I'm pretty proud that we were able to do it in less than 17 minutes that's a big thing I hope this video was a good experience for you you learned something was enjoyable and if it was do let me know with a thumbs up or comments maybe that means that would mean a lot thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'm signing off peace bye, -bye.